Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone I am Shifa Nuria And my ID number is 2003493 And I am from IPSC Or International Program on Science Education In this video We will discuss about adding force In this subchapter There are several keywords That we will discuss They are about force Resultant Addition and subtraction Parallelogram law and the last is about friction. For the first, we will discuss about force and resultant. So, force has both magnitude or size and direction. It is represented in diagrams by a straight line with an arrow to show its direction of action. Usually, there is more than one force acting on an object. For example, Uh, an object sitting on this table has two force that is W and R so the object uh, is pulled down by a force W and the object is pulled down pushed up by a force R and because the object is at rest so the force uh, must be balanced so uh, R equal to W for the second This is about resultant or single of value. There are two ways to determine the resultant under two conditions. The first is uh, if the force act on the same straight line, the resultant is found by simple addition or subtraction. And secondly, uh, if it's not in a straight line, then the resultant can be found by using parallelogram law. For the first uh, is in a straight line. The way to determine the result is by addition or subtraction. Okay, here is an example. For the first block, it has two force in the same direction. So we just add up the two force. Two newton, two newton plus one newton equal to three newton. And then for the second block, he has two uh, opposing force. So we we assume that the direction to the left is negative and uh, the direction to the right uh, is positive. Then 3 newton uh, plus minus 2 newton equal to 3 minus 2 newton equal to 1 newton. And because both blocks have a positive sign, so the direction of the two blocks is to the right. The second is that if it's not in a straight line, then we use the parallelogram law to determine the resultant. The sum of laws parallelogram or parallelogram laws is if two forces acting at a point are represented in uh, size and direction by the slides of a parallelogram drawn for the point. The resultant is represented in size and direction by the diagonal of the parallelogram drawn from uh, the point. The resultant from the force AC and CB are OC, OC or AB. And the resultant of the force P and Q is OC or a b and the last discussion is about friction friction is the force that opposes one sur surface moving or trying to move over another so there are two types of friction uh, that is static friction and kinetic friction or dynamic friction in this picture f is friction and p is tensile force now Uh, what distinguishes static friction and kinetic friction? It is uh, if F is greater than P and the object is at rest, it is called uh, static friction. And if F is less than uh, P and the object will move, then it is called uh, kinetic friction or dynamic friction. Okay, that's all from me. 
Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.